Nick at UPS and Postal. All right, the fifth chuck is about to come underway, and Sam Clements is going to bring in the shot from the halfway line. He taps it past Roger Clements, who was trying to attack him. Oh, look at this from Sam Clements. Sam Clements is going to go all the way. He does from the halfway line. Sam on his own. Shows what happens when somebody professional rides that pony and gets it all together for him earlier in the week, how easy it is to play this game. And seven minutes left, and the Blues open up a two-goal lead. In comes the ball. Where is it? It's with Dave Bullis. He's over the top of it. Tim Day. Sorry, that was uh, Roger. Got taken out of it by Perry. Dan Keating got hooked. Minnie Keating picks it up, though. Minnie still got it. Minnie trying to send the ball up to Perry Markell. Perry getting towards it. Roger Soto gets in the backhand. Well played, Roger. Where is it? Dave Bullis is going to have a chance to pick it up. Uh, unfortunately, Dave Bullis rides right in front of Sam Clements, who's coming down the line. And the umpires blow their whistle. Oh, it could be a bad one. It could be a strong penalty in favor of the Blues here. So it's a 30-yard penalty, penalty number two in favor of the Blue States. So it's an open goal penalty, a chance to get it back to three-goal lead. Hopefully the Red States aren't going to be a one-chucker wonder with their three goals in the fourth chucker. And who's going to take this? It looks like Sam Clements, the number four on Koshani. And Sam's put one straight. Well done, Sam Clements. So now six to three now. In comes the ball. Sam gets the backhand, bounces back at him. Perry gets another touch on it. Now Dave Bullis wants to get control of it. Does, but he just sends the ball into the ponies. Perry Markell does brilliantly. A couple of shots from Perry, and it's looking good as well. Dave Markell going back in defense. Doesn't get the backhand he needed. Rogers covering. Here we got Tim Day. Tim Day turns right in front of Sam Clements. What is wrong with a backhander? That is what you should have played. But you didn't. You went and tried to turn the ball, and what you did was you turned across the line as somebody's coming right down it. And the Reds imploding in this chucker, having had such a strong fourth chucker. It's going to be a penalty from the spot in favor of the Blues. Dan Keating just making sure the ball is sitting nicely on the grass. And Sam Clements will take this open goal penalty. He's having a great chucker on this pony. And there he scores. Oh boy, now it's gone for a four goal lead to the Blues, seven to three. Just when we thought the Reds were coming back into it, they're not. In comes the ball, the Blues going down towards the Jumbotron. Perry fighting for it, doing well. Can't you get the S? Yes, well played, Perry Markell. Keep going. Roger, who's that? Gets a little backhand. Tim Day trying to find Luke Merrick. Luke picks it up. Can't get it on the near side. Dave Bullis sends it forward. Dave Bullis making a little space. He's going to have to try and cut it into the middle. Keating wouldn't give him any room. Where is it now? A little backhand from Roger Soto. Roger actually puts the ball through the goal, but unfortunately he turned across the line right in front of everybody. So it's going to be another foul in favor of the Blues, I guess.
So penalty from the spot in favor of the Blues. Sam Clements to take it. Sam sends a strong shot up, trying to get to the number one. Dave Bullis in defense. Roger couldn't get the backhand. Luke gets a little touch, not sure what he was after there, but Minnie sends a lovely backhand, centering towards Dan. Dan picks it up. This is a real opportunity for Keating. Doesn't get the under the next shot he wanted. Bullis sends the ball over his own back line. So we'll get a safety. It's the polar equivalent of a soccer corner when the defending player hits the ball over his own back line. The umpires will put a ball down on the 60-yard line opposite where it went over the back line and the Blues will get the hit from there. So Sam Clemens from the 60-yard line, slightly out to the left-hand side of the posts. I think the umpires realize they put the ball on the 40-yard line, not the 60. Yep. Been that sort of a day. And here comes Sam Clemens. Is he going to go for the big shot? Is he going to try and tap it out wide and then have a second tap? He goes for the big shot, pulls it wide to the left. Dan Keating meets it to try and pop it back into the middle. Can't quite control it. Did get a shot on it, but it goes out wide. Hit into the Reds. Bullis brings it in, trying to get something going for the Reds. Tim Day doesn't really make contact. Roger sends a lovely pass up the field. Sam Clements, nice angle from Sam, gets it away from the ponies. Dave Bullis turns, sends the backhand to the middle, finds the pass to Luke. Luke and Minnie running fast. Minnie does enough to hook the stick. It's ball still going towards the back line and runs over the back line, hit into the Blues. Sam Clemens brings it in. Uh-oh, he's missed it. Look at that pony stop and turn. He's left it for Roger. Roger gets one shot. We need another one from Roger. Roger gets it. Roger scores. Roger. Well played, Roger Soto gets a goal on the board. Somebody but Dave Bullis adding to the red score, four to seven. Still plenty of time to get it close again. Sam Clements making a rare mistake there. In comes the ball, can the Reds build any momentum? No, Dan Keating's coming out with it. Dan Keating gets the penalty as Dave Bullis rides over the top of the ball and infringes Dan Keating's right to have a shot at it. And it's going to be a 60-yard penalty, is it, in favor of the Blues? So, 60-yard penalty. Looks like Minnie, the number three, could be taking this. Minnie sends the ball straight up the field. What's... Oh, what is that, Sam? Big swing and a miss. Minnie doesn't really contact. That's going to be a foul by Perry, right across the middle of everybody. Umpires let it play, for, I guess, for advantage to the Reds. And uh, Roger does well, gets a couple of shots before Minnie rides him out. Dan Keating gets a lovely backhand. Bullis anticipates, cuts it to himself, turns up field now. Luke Merrick pulling in behind him. Bullis going forward. Minnie going to go and see if she can hook his stick. Couldn't quite get to him. Bullis still well wide, though. Oh, look at that lovely sort of cut backhand into the middle. We got Perry Markell onto it first. 
She cuts it up the field for the Blues. Three reds racing back. Luke Merrick gets a touch on it. Dan Keating picks it up, puts it behind Tim Day. Keating still going forward. Keating at speed. Nobody can get to him. Keating sends a shot forward and the Blues get another one. Eight to four. Dan Keating. And in comes the ball, getting the play underway with a minute left in this fifth chucker. Roger Soto picks it up for the Reds, doesn't get the next shot. Tim Day does, gets hooked. Perry Markell does a touch on it. She gets the ball away from the center. Now can she turn it up the field? Bounces off the boards kindly for us. She does an under the neck, doesn't really get control of it, and Bullis turns it. Bullis going towards the middle. Keating running, Sam Clements going to try and get the hook, does enough, Keating gets the backhand, anybody turning on it, Perry Markell on the near side, Pony digs out on her, Luke Merrick gets control, sends a lovely tail backhander to Roger, to Tim Day rather, Tim.